it, it's it's certainly validating and rewarding to be in the final. Um, I can't say we knew that when we made those moves. Um, you know, we felt like we had a good plan, a good blueprint, and and I think the. Um, one of the important takeaways is that we embarked on a three-year plan. I mean, that, that was, it was, you know, we, we cut uh, as deep as we did to really try to set ourselves up long-term. And so we have very few uh, contract decisions we got to make this season. Um, we're committed to investing in our younger players um, as, as part of that long-term plan. Uh, and we believe we have enough resources to keep the great majority of the core together again, uh, particularly now that they've done well enough and, and validated uh, some of the decisions on who we kept and who we who we moved. Um, so, uh, you know, in 2009, uh, again, the reason I'd be long-winded, 2009 we felt like we won it a year before we thought because it, we started a three-year plan in 08 uh, and we made that run and won two games in penalties and won the title in 09 and I think all of us would say that the 2010 team was probably better than the 2009 team. We just, we didn't win that year, we won in 2009. Um, and I'm hopeful and, and, and uh, you know, that we can repeat that same thing where we get a little bit ahead of schedule, we get the talent right, uh, and the coaches have done an awesome job. I, I maintain that this is the best coaching job that they've done, um, and just in terms of the sheer number of players that they've been able to develop and who have contributed, uh, and the scheme worked, because the, the, the tactics of this whole thing were, can we get faster? Uh, particularly in attack, such that we elongate the field, which creates then space for the midfielders. And our midfielders went from scoring 11 goals a year ago to scoring 22 goals with 24 assists this year. I, I, I don't think there's any other year that's even been close in terms of the production we've gotten out of the midfield. Some of that is credit to them. Some of that is credit to the scheme, where we've got Garcia and Finley and Plata, who can all stretch a field. And so in any game situation against any opponent in any matchup, we can go vertical. Uh, and that that's really, I think, been the key tactical insight. And um, we talk all the time about how Jason and I work together. And the tactical insight with Jason's, the cap insight was mine. You marry those two pieces up, that's how you make a successful product. And that's what we've done for six years. Look, I mean, we went the last five games of the year without scoring. Uh, we felt like uh, not advancing out of our Champions League group last year was a real underachievement. Um, and so we did feel like we specific to the forwards. That's accurate. And and I wouldn't say I would say complacency is not the word I would use necessarily. I would just say we need to get better. Uh, we need to have more options. And we had two excellent strikers in Sabario and the Spindola, but we needed to have a more varied attack. We needed to have more ways to hurt people because. Basically, what had happened over time is everyone knew we were going to come and try to play teams off the park, and so they'd bunker and play compact defensively and dare us to beat them. And if we only had two of those guys, if one of them was hurt or one of them was in a slump, we didn't have different ways to hurt them. Uh, and so that was that was maybe the goal of changing the mix of the core. Um, but yes, it's, it, broadly speaking, it's true. We felt like we needed to do something. Now, I would I would add from my chair. We had to do something. It wasn't a choice. Like we, we were seven figures over the cap, um, you know. And, and again, I think you guys probably know this, uh, but in 2011, uh, Javi comes back late in the season. We win some big games. We play. We go to LA to play the conference final. Both Olave and Borchers are hurt. Olave limps through it on one leg. Borchers can't go at all. In our, you know, we lose three one. In our opinion, that's a different game if those two guys play. And so we had the 2010 team that had been the first team to win a group in Champions League. Um, we'd gone to the Champions League final in 2011. I mean, that was a darn good team. And so when they make the champ, the the conference final, and they lose, in our opinion, because of some bad, some worse luck, we say, okay. We know we're going to put ourselves in trouble at the end of 2012 if we do it, but we are going to give this group, the 2009-10-11 group, one more bite at the apple. We gave it to them. It didn't work out. And then we you know, we were in the box that we expected to find ourselves in, or just, just to give you guys the kind of reasoning as to how we got there. Uh, and then we said, okay, let's reset. Three, new three-year plan. That's what made us successful for the last four or five years. Let's see if we can do it again.